How much do you really know about milk? I thought I knew everything until I started to do research on this seemingly obvious topic. So, today on Knowing is Winning, I'll talk about milk. Let's start, well, uh, at the beginning. Cow's milk is a remarkable and complex substance produced through an intricate biological process inside the cow's udder. It begins deep within the mammary glands where specialized cells called alveoli play a central role. These tiny sac-like structures are lined with epithelial cells that extract nutrients from the cow's bloodstream. The nutrients, such as water, fats, proteins, sugars, vitamins and minerals, are selectively pulled from the blood and transformed into milk's components. This transformation is supported by an extensive network of blood vessels delivering a steady supply of raw materials essential for creating milk. Inside the alveoli, the epithelial cells synthesize milk proteins like uh, casein and whey and uh, fat droplets form as, as well. Meanwhile, lactose, the natural sugar in milk, is produced by combining glucose and galactose molecules, providing energy and sweetness. All these elements are secreted into the alveolar lumen, effectively filling these tiny sacs with fresh milk. The milk then travels through a series of small ducts until it gathers in a large milk cistern of sorts, located just beneath the teeth. When the cow is stimulated, whether by the presence of a calf or gentle milking, the muscle cells surrounding the alveoli contract, pushing the milk out through the uh, teeth canal. Raw cow milk is um, incredibly nutritious because it retains a rich composition of natural components in their most bioavailable form. Therefore, it is the first alternative um, go-to nutrient, if you would, for human and animal babies. It contains high-quality proteins that are easily digested and provide essential amino acids necessary for human health. The fats in raw milk include beneficial fatty acids that support brain function and cellular health. Unlike heavily processed milk, raw milk preserves delicate vitamins such as vitamin A, D, and B-complex vitamins, which can be reduced almost to nothing during pasteurization or homogenization. It also contains naturally occurring enzymes like uh, lactase and lipase that uh, aid digestion. Additionally, raw milk harbors beneficial bacteria and probiotics that contribute to a healthy gut microbiome, supporting immune health and uh, digestion. This natural nutrient synergy makes raw cow milk a complex living food with qualities that are often diminished when milk is processed. While raw milk consumption should be approached with awareness of safety consideration, its nutritional richness remains an impressive example of nature's capacity to provide sustenance directly from animal to human. So, let's go a bit idyllic. As the sun rises over rolling pastures where contented cows graze on dew-kissed grasses and from this unspoiled <laughs> tableau comes raw cow's milk in its purest form, an elixir of uh, life untouched by the confines of uh, industrial processing. In its creamy, slightly sweet fluid lies a dizzying complexity. Proteins in their native configurations, enzymes brimming with catalytic potential, beneficial bacteria quietly going about their symbiotic work. When a gentle sip of raw milk touches the tongue, one encounters a world of flavor so alive that it feels as if the very pasture has been distilled into liquid nourishment. The milk um, actually of... Um, I would say not white but opaque ivory color, carries the warmth of the animal, the richness of soil, the freshness of morning air, all interwoven in microscopic droplets of fat that nourish body and spirit alike. These droplets of fat cradle bioactive compounds. 
immunoglobulins that whisper protective messages to our gut lining, lactoferrin that ferries iron where it's most needed, and lipase enzymes that prime the digestive system to make the most of every fat-soluble vitamin. Beyond the fats, raw milk harbors a living constellation of microbes, among them lactobacilli, that help maintain the delicate balance of our microbiome, fortifying the digestive tract against unwelcome invaders. The enzymes native to raw milk, um, phosphatase, uh, protease, and amylase, lend themselves to more efficient breakdown of nutrients, sparing the body energy and ensuring that every ounce of goodness is absorbed rather than lost in a digestive abyss. Minerals like calcium, phosphorus, and potassium are abundant in cow milk and play vital roles in bone health and muscle function. The balance of these nutrients in raw milk reflects the natural diet and metabolism of the cow, creating a product optimized by nature to nourish its young, and by extension, humans and other animals who consume it. The absorption of minerals from cow milk by the human body is facilitated and guaranteed by several natural factors inherent to the composition of milk and the physiology of human digestion. One key element is the form in which minerals exist in milk often bound to proteins like casein or, and, or present alongside lactose and fats. These combinations enhance mineral bioavailability, meaning the minerals are in a form that body can readily absorb. For example, calcium in milk is often complexed with casein phosphopeptides, which promote its solubility and absorption in the gut. The presence of lactose in milk also helps improve the absorption of minerals such as calcium and magnesium by aiding their transport across the intestinal lining. Mineral absorption mainly occurs in small intestine where the body's absorption mechanisms are highly efficient. The milk proteins and lipids together with lactose work synergistically to facilitate the uptake of essential minerals into bloodstream. This natural synergy is one reason why calcium absorption from cow milk is significantly higher compared to many plant-based sources, which often contain compounds like uh, oxalates and, and phytates that inhibit mineral absorption by forming insoluble complexes. With cow milk, these inhibitors are absent, allowing for more effective uptake of minerals such as calcium, phosphorus, potassium, magnesium, and others. Furthermore, vitamins naturally present um, or supplemented in milk, such as vitamin D, enhance mineral absorption by regulating the mechanisms involved in transporting minerals into the body. Now, let's contrast this living brew with the sterility imposed by pasteurization, a high heat ritual that quells not only harmful pathogens, but also the symphony of beneficial microbes and enzymes. Under the duress of heat, proteins denature, fat globules coalesce into uniform lifeless spheres, and the delicate choreography of digestive aids collapses. Minerals like calcium become locked away, encrusted in heat-altered matrices that our bodies must labor to release if they manage to release them at all. Pasteurized milk may present a clinical image of safety, but safety comes at the cost of vitality. What remains is the <laughs> an insipid shadow of the original, a nutrient vehicle hamstrung by its own sterility, leaving calcium absorption paltry in comparison to the ease with which raw milk delivers these minerals into our bloodstream. So, to drink raw milk is to invite harmony between ourselves and the natural world. Its calcium is cradled in the embrace of intact proteins and uh, cofactors, magnesium, vitamin K2, and phosphorus, all working in concert to usher calcium into bones rather than relegating into a calcified sediment in arteries. The bacteriological richness of raw milk 
primes the gut microbiome, transforming the gastrointestinal tract into a well-tuned nutrient conveyor belt. It is not merely a drink, but an ecosystem offering a synergy that industrially processed alternative can only dream of. Yet, industry and regulation have largely plotted to regulate raw milk to the margins, painting pasteurization as an absolute safeguard. In truth, careful sourcing from healthy pasture-raised herds and um, hygienic milking practices can mitigate risks while preserving the extraordinary bounty of unprocessed milk. The artisan dairyman who treats each cow as an individual, honors age-old traditions that recognize milks through nature as a living substance. This reverence stands in stark contrast to the assembly line churn of large-scale dairies, where the homogenized product emerges stripped of its vitality, reduced to commodity, rather than celebrated as the miracle it truly is. In effect, what we got served in the end is a white liquid barely resembling the original. But nowadays, aside from the pasteurized milk, there are other plant-based imposters out there as well. The moment you reach for a carton of almond milk, you expect a wholesome, nutty elixir. But what you actually pour into your glass is mostly water disguised by gums, emulsifiers and a whisper of sugar. That faint nutty aroma is nothing more than a marketing flourish because there are barely any almonds in most commercial brands. In place of genuine nutrition, you get thickeners engineered to mimic mouthfeel, fortified calcium, and vitamins that have no business masquerading as whole food goodness and almost no protein to speak of. Oat milk appears more virtuous, touting beta-glucanes, and creamy texture, yet every silky mouthful often carries refined oils, stabilizers, and a surge of simple carbohydrates that send your blood sugar skyward. The fiber content, when you uh, peel back the label, is modest compared to the refined starch and added sugars that make this drink taste decadent. To match the protein and calcium of cow's milk, manufacturers must again lean on synthetic fortification and protein isolates transforming what might begin as humble oats into an ultra-processed concoction. Rice milk may promise hypoallergenic peace of mind, but its sweetness comes at a cost, a swath of empty calories and resolutely low protein, while simple sugars dominating the profile. In many regions, rice patties concentrate inorganic arsenic, meaning that what seems like a gentle breakfast companion can carry unwelcome contaminants. Far from being nutri nutritious, it's more of a starch broth that fills you up with building anything substantial in your body. Even soy milk, the so-called champion of plant-based alternatives, carries hidden trade-offs. Its protein content is indeed closer to dairy, yet isolating that soy protein strips away fiber and natural complexity, while concentrating phytoestrogens and galtrogens that can interfere with hormonal balance and thyroid function when consumed in excess. To hit the nutritional benchmarks set by cow's milk, soy beverages too rely on a patchwork of added vitamins and calcium salts rather than the beans innate bounty. Coconut milk from the refrigerated aisle smells of tropical indulgence, but beneath the aroma lies a liquid nearly devoid of protein and fiber, yet heavy on saturated fats, exhumed from coconut oil and buoyed by stabilizers. What began as milk processed from grated coconut morphs into a light additive laden liquid that owes almost none of its single ingredient promise to its original fruit. In the end, the plant milk section reads like a showcase of ultra-processed imposters. Each carton leans on thickeners, sweeteners, and synthetic fortifications to mask how far it is from the nourishing fluid you expected. None of these alternatives can match the living complexity of rock house milk, 
They cannot provide the intricate proteins, the uh, nat native enzymes, the uh, synergistic microbial community that align to nurture the body. Instead, they offer a shadow play of nutrients fortified with isolated vitamins and minerals that our bodies struggle to assimilate. In their zeal to replace nature with convenience, they have divorced nutrition from embodiment, turning what should be sustenance into industrial simulacra. In the end, the story returns to the pasture, to the raw milk flowing straight from the tea to the table, bearing witness to Earth's alchemy. To choose raw milk is to embrace life in its most vibrant and adulterate form, to drink deeply not just of nutrition, but of the very web of relationships that bind soil, plant, animal, and human into a harmonious whole. And as the world sips from cartons of sterile pasteurized milk or settles for plant-based pretenders, those who persist in honoring raw milk keep alive a tradition that pays tribute to nature's boundless ingenuity. Dietary dogmas may wax and wane, but the simple profound truth of raw milk endures. Nourishment in its purest, most potent state, a living testament to the wonders that unfold when food remains as nature intended. And this, this was knowing is winning. Thank you very much for watching.